prehistoric stone circle has emerged in western Spain after some of the worst droughts in recent memory, and this saw the Valdecanus Reservoir in El Gordo lose a lot of its water. Wait to hear this. Thought to date back over 5,000 years and known as the Dolmen of Guadaparral, this megalithic feature comprises of no fewer than 150 granite stones called orthostats, placed in a vertical arrangement to form an ovoid chamber 5 metres in diameter. And this is preceded by an access corridor about 21 metres long and 1.4 metres wide, and at the end of the corridor, at the entrance of the chamber, there is a men here, about 2 metres high, and has a snake type representation carved. One could speculate that they are representing the formation of a plasmatic pillar manifesting from a spiralling force in the heavens. These small circles at either end of the pillar are plasmoids, and plasmoids go through some very discrete phases, and they are interpreted from the petroglyph record as caterpillars, ladders and even trees, and in any case it's the beginning of the compression of the torus stack. These compress and warp until they begin to form a bell shape at either end, forming the figure of the squatter man, and this is the greatest of the energy levels witnessed in the ancient plasmatic aurora event. The stone circle now sits exposed with the water level down by 28% due to the drought crisis, but this has led to an archaeological investigation of the site, a rare opportunity for archaeologists. The site was only rediscovered by German archaeologist Hugo Obermeier in 1926, but the area was flooded in 1963 in the reservoir project under Franco's dictatorship, which inundated the structure. Stone circles now appear very rare, along with other dolmen type structures are scattered all across the world. We don't fully understand why they exist, or even what happened to the people who erected them. Clues in the markings point to the sky, it points to the formation of high energy auroras witnessed in the sky. This led to the formation of the Taurus field, visible planet wide. Since the stone circles has become visible again, it is noted that the prehistoric carvings are now decayed since the time of the 1960s, and this has led to an effort to have the stones excavated and placed in a museum, which seems inevitable. The stones were photographed in 2019 for the first time in 50 years when a satellite noted them from space. The drought sees a rare opportunity to access the site, but what do you guys think about them? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.